Hey, what's happening? Hey, Josh. Hey, what's going on? What do we got for our listeners today? All right. So I want to welcome everybody back. Uh, today, we are going to talk about something that's uh, pretty exciting and it connects two really cool worlds together, right? Wealth management, which isn't that exciting, that's but AI. Cool. But AI, AI is cool. making it cool. AI, AI is making it cool. Yeah, that is right. We are going to explore how cutting edge AI research labs and global financial powerhouses have joined forces to create a groundbreaking technology that's set to revolutionize the wealth management industry. Now, if it could only revolutionize my wealth, it would be great. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key. That's what it wants to do. So we're taking, we, we hit off that it's something not exciting and something exciting, right? So we have like Iron Man and Batman come together to fight financial crime. Do you like that? Is that okay? Which one's Iron Man? Is that the bank? The Iron Bank from Game of Thrones? Okay, we'll go. They're the bank. All right, so imagine having access whoa, 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 to a Game of Thrones. Yeah, the Iron Bank. Oh, okay, but you're not skipping over Iron Man, you know. No, no, but that's how I'm relating there. Iron Man as the Iron Bank. Iron so, Bank, got just, it. Hey, just imagine having an AI-driven chatbot that unlocks the entire wealth of knowledge and insights accumulated by prestigious financial institutions. You know, like uh, uh, smart money. No, no. Okay, well, you know what I mean. But precisely, you know, that's the collaboration that this has achieved. Financial advisors now have a trusty AI sidekick, and uh, that's going to serve the clients at lightning speed. I wonder what their fees will be when they're done with this. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so what you're saying is that we're going to have these two things come together, and they're going to cater to our financial whim, right? Y yeah. That's, you know, right, so, okay, you so Josh, this yeah. is one of the things that you and I tend to go off, I think we're incredibly interesting, but let's get some sp specifics. How exactly is this technology going to transform the way financial advisors work? Well, that's a great question. With this technology, financial advisors are going to be able to tap into this vast library of content and instantly retrieve actionable insights based on what they've seen in the past. It's like having top strategists and economists call on 24 seven, but they're ready to provide expert advice at a moment's notice. So you don't have to go ask EF Hutton. He's not alive anymore, right? <laughs> EF Hutton's dead. Uh, Does anybody he's... remember those commercials? Is it just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I do, but. Is it still around? No, probably not. It's probably like my friend Dean Witter. What happened to that guy? Oh, Dean Witter. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I think they were the Dean Witter and Eve Hutton, they were financial advisors to Enron. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they wish they had uh, so, AI. Uh, that's right. So, with that segue, we know that great power comes great responsibility. So, how are these two companies going to ensure that there's some safety and security? in this type of information because it is so personal and valuable yeah i don't know that's a good question but the collaboration between these companies has been designed with the appropriate controls if you believe them you know <laughs> yeah. in, in place you know <laughs> they're supposed to generate responses exclusively from the internal content meaning no outside manipulation this ensures that the technology remains as reliable and secure as the resource for financial advisors so that's that's the key until somebody gets in there. But hey, who is this person? Yeah. So uh, I, we, we already know that uh, AI has some uh, implicit and explicit biases just because of who, who built it, right? It, it's come out. Um, so are there going to be any financial biases? Biases? That's like it's going to come out and it's going to be like, uh, make sure you buy XYZ stock, you know, and then we're all going to yeah. buy it. Yeah. yeah. And then I, AI is going to sell its own and that's how it, that's how it kicks off. Yeah, I know. But yeah. you know, the chat bots, you know, the chat bots working with your financial advisor, cause there's still supposed to be a human involved. You know, the individual investors will expect like a faster, more accurate and highly personalized advice too, because again, it should be looking at it as a, uh, innocent third party, shall we say? But as the technology allows advisors to access this wealth of information in seconds, it frees up more time for them to focus on understanding their clients' unique needs and goals and lack of money, you know, or whatever your whatever your actual goals are, which I'm sure it will also help assess. This leads to a tailored investment strategy that better aligns with investors' risk. And I bet you people, when they see their financials modeled out, will have more... Uh, 
I think they'll actually be more receptive to the plans because you know sometimes the financial advisor gives you some advice and you're just like yeah okay kid what do you mean like i have these guys that'll come over to my house and uh-huh. you know, they're like it's, the, it's the first suit they've ever had on <laughs> yeah yeah if you put fifty dollars away in this whole life policy get out of my house you know uh-huh. so, so but, yeah. but that, yeah that's a good point josh because um i I've, I've had some that were friends um financial advisors and then i've met with some over the years and i feel like what they're saying to me they can turn around and say to the next guy and then say to the next person it's in the brochure it's just, yeah. yes it's this it's the same thing um and you and i've used ai for so many different things and we get so many specific uh in context answers directly to the audience we're talking about so yeah that's that's pretty exciting thinking about it yeah uh, I'm- so um uh, that's cool and i can imagine you know as this technology advances we can expect it to have more benefits for individual investors, I'm hoping. Um, And we can just, uh, you know, plan for maybe making some more money uh, and building our portfolios before Skynet comes online. Yeah, I think that's only a month or two away, but at least you'll be doing something while that happens. So you'll be, you'll be distracted. You won't be thinking about it. But I didn't think about it till, you know, till this is like, we always talk about, you know, AI taking over, right? There's been a a billion movies, right? but maybe this is how it starts because it needs financial backing, right? None of the movies cover that. So <laughs> yeah. They're going to take over the financial indu- you know, industry and they're, they're going to take pennies on the, or fractions of a penny on the dollar from all the investments. It's going to be phenomenal at, and that's how it's going to back its, uh, its coup. It's worth yeah. too. Yeah. And with that folks, it looks like we're entering <laughs> a new wealth of we- a new era of wealth management. Yeah. I, but where human expertise and AI innovation are gonna work together in perfect harmony. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And as we wrap this up in today's episode, I can't help but imagine a future where the Avengers and the Justice League unite. Is that a good correlation between the two? I think so. Empowering advisors. Do you know why? DC and Marvel, and we already opened up that, um, like one's cool and one's not. But you know what? When I was a kid, I really liked the Justice League, but I never got over. Uh, I never got over the Wonder Twins. I was always like, "Why are they in here?" And then yeah. Marvin <laughs> and so. On. Yeah. Anyway, but empowering advisors to boldly venture into uncharted financial territory with the power of AI, I think it's going to make the some of the. Uh, what used to be the lower level financial advisors, the the young up and coming are gonna be like, hey, I know as much as you, I have it my fingers. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be so interesting. I love it. I yeah. love it. So I love it. It's what you're saying is, and that's great. It's the great equalizer for yeah. a lot of a lot of uh, professions like this. All right, awesome. Um, all right, Josh, that's uh, awesome and I appreciate it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this exploration of wealth management and AI, the DC and the Marvel. Uh, We'll be back soon with some more funny, witty discussions. Until next time, Josh, stay wise. We were supposed to be witty. Oh my God, you talked as I was trying my new ending. Stay wise and stay curious. And don't bite anyone. (laughs) Don't bite. Oh, I bite. That was terrible. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody.